due to his use of performance enhancing drugs, Floyd Landis lost the 2006 Tour de France, his job with Phonak, his career as a professional cyclist. This case, however, is not about his use of performance enhancing drugs. Today's prosecution was brought because Floyd Landis, as he has now publicly recognized, compounded his errors by lying to thousands and thousands of individuals and defrauding them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The repayment plan, as it stands now, covers every penny that went through the Floyd Fairness Fund that raised money on the basis of his claims that he didn't use performance enhancing drugs. That's roughly $487,000 and it comprises over 1,700 individuals. This case has nothing to do with the Lance Armstrong case. This is a fraud case about uh, Floyd Landis. Uh, the lawyers and, and I are happy with, uh, with the outcome. There's a structured way of, of making restitution to the, the people who feel uh, that they were victims of, of uh, the alleged fraud. And, and for me, it's a, it's a way of putting it in the past and moving forward, so it's good. I've, uh, I'm looking forward to the future. For me, it doesn't involve cycling. You know, I, I really don't know what, what the solution is for the sport of cycling. That's not, you know, not my issue anymore. You know, I can, I can never undo what happened. I can never undo having lied to people. But it, if in some small way making restitution helps them to, to forgive me, then, then that's a step in the right direction. I, I don't wish to go through the rest of my life um, feeling, feeling that people have animosity towards me for the decisions that I made that were not the right decision. Yeah.